Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Kicking into May, pretty wild. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, you gotta serve the one you love. To in every kiss and every touch, you feel you're there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 718, Nasdaq's up 433, S&P's up 117, gold contract up $6.10, trading at 1894 an ounce. You get silver down to 28 cents, 23 dollars 17 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 343. 105.44 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10-year note, down 11 ticks, trading at 119.14. The 30-year off six at 141.11 and King Dollar. King Dollar's up 638 ticks, trading out at 103.589. The Euro is at 105, the Yen is at 130.88, and the British Pound is at 124 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877. Nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S and P's, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you get a big bounce here. There's no two ways about that, man. Percentage-wise, this is a decent bounce. You get percentage-wise. What we have here is that you get the Dow, uh, Nasdaq, rather up three point four percent, two point seven in the Nasdaq, two point one in the Dow Industrials. That being said. You take a look at the SPY, you get 71 million shares, bottom line, you come into uh, 132. Now, the way this is set up, there's no reason I can't go back to ICE, okay? So you came down with, here's the bearish part. The bearish part is it didn't get to the bottom of the test. The test is 410. You can see that bar sticking out there. It's a monster bar. We got to 416. So my take is what you'll see out here tomorrow. You get over the highs. We'll see if they can hold. You're going to have lighter volume. Once again, you have, you have lighter volume now, but you get lighter volume tomorrow. And we'll see if it holds price. If it does hold price, then you can get to ice. Ice would be 436. Right now, you're 429. And as you get up to that point, you'd probably come up and you'd have a contraction of volume simultaneously when that's happening. What is intriguing, no doubt, is that uh, we are coming into window dressing. So... Uh, there's going to be plenty of funds that, you know, bottom line, we'll put money into the marketplace, end of the month, beginning of the month. NDX 100, same type of setup. The difference in the NDX is it has been the weakest, still the weakest out here in a big way. So what we have here is that you got, uh, you you're up 12 bucks right now. Uh, what the NDX did do, that is the one that broke the, the swing high, the swing lows. Let me put this on a weekly for a second because I want to see this on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly, first low going back, the, the week of uh, the 25th of February is 381. The second low was 414. This low, yeah, okay, cool. So what you're going to have here is this. If, you, if you're watching Tiger TV and you're watching my screen, this low here is going to have heavier, heavier volume than the last low we had. That says we come back down. That's how it, because see, you're going against, what you're going against here is the low that was established at 297, and that had 444 million. So, bottom line, first one, as I said, had 381. Second one had 414. Right now, with one more day left, we are at 394, so that's gonna commit at about four, might commit at five. Yeah, might commit at 500. So, well, you get the gist of it. Well, let's do this in the SPY, too. Okay, so I'll take the SPY, put this, this didn't hit the bottom, but I just want to see how these volume calculations are coming in. Okay, so in the SPY, the volume we're going after is 593. We're at 417. That's going to be lighter volume. That's going to be lighter volume. There's no doubt about that. Just didn't get to it. So... We'll see how that baby shakes out. And after the close out here today, and we'll go over, we're going to have Amazon, we're going to have Apple. Let's go into the gold contract first. So gold contract, bottom line, went all the way back to where it broke out from. You did get a rejection of lower price. I mean, these, if you're just getting your head wrapped around technical analysis, folks, okay, 
These are pretty cool shots to look at because they don't set up this clean a lot of the time. And you get to see this was so clean, it's insane, actually. You know, yeah, you, you broke topside, okay? You know, you would, you were trying to break the 1883. We got up there a couple times. Then when you did break it, okay, we went from 1873 to 1906. And that's what it just did. It came all the way back to that level. And uh, bottom line, we'll see if we can get some juice. The uh, rate, oh, this is good. It just got back in, uh, inside 1893. Because um, that's where it broke down from. Okay, so now you're back in a higher range inside of the gold contract. Now, the hard thing to comprehend, and I've been in this gold market since heavily since 2000, is... <laughs> Gold being this high and the dollar b bottom line being this high. This is this looks to me, you know, uh, so check this out. I mean, this is pretty intense, even what I'm saying, because I'm still a gold bull. But it looks to me, man, that this dollar is actually going to break higher. That's what it looks like. I mean, when I take a look at this, you know, it's not going to take much. I, mean, I actually I got to put it back further. So watch this. I got I got to put this back 30 years to get some clarity about where we are. Now, the, the intriguing part is that, you know, you can see that your, your setup, you know, it, it hasn't got a decisive break yet. You know, I, I talk about this a lot. When you break topside or downtown, you got to get away from the break. But guess what? If you break topside, man, bottom line, game is 2,000 highs in, in the dollar, which is uh, 121. That's about to be a long way up. We'll see how it shakes out. You know, with with gold, with gold hold. Well, yeah. Let's go. Let's go over to the yen because we go over the yen also, and you can see that the central bank of Japan couldn't handle the yen. They claimed uh, when they came out, what it was all the way down here, down at the the thirtieth of March. They came out and said they wouldn't let it go by one thirty. Well, look what happened, folks. It's one thirty point nine one. It went to one thirty one today. Now let's bring this back and put that on a 30 year. Oh, this is a big break too. We broke that. Yeah, so the, the enemy wants to go higher, meaning gets weaker against the US dollar. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.